हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट माइक्रो प्रोपागेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो लेट मी टेल यू दैट व्हाट इज कवर इन दिस लेक्चर सो व्हाट इज माइक्रो प्रोपागेशन द स्टेजेस ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोपागेशन वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोपागेशन एंड एप्लीकेशन एज वेल एज डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ माइक्रो प्रोपागेशन आर कवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर सो नाउ विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो so first of all what is micro propagation so here as the name indicating micro plus propagation so micro means something small so micro propagation if you simply say that it is a method in which a very small piece of plant tissue is allowed to propagate in artificial medium that is in nutrient media so this is the micro propagation where very small piece of plant that is x plant is allowed to propagate or allowed to grow in laboratory with proper optimized conditions and giving the proper nutrients to that small piece of plant so this is ultimately micro propagation because we are using very small piece of plant tissue that's why micro and this micro propagation is also called as clonal propagation why because the plants that are produced by this micro propagation these are genetically identical to the mother plants so you can say these are the clones of mother plants so that's why we can say that by micro propagation we are propagating the clones so that's why it is sometime also called as clonal propagation now next the stages of micro propagation so the micro propagation generally follows the following stages the first is known as a stage 0 means in this stage we just select the x plant on which we want to work so during this stage we just maintain the mother plant in the greenhouse to make it disease free and you can say to just protect it from the insects so in this stage we are just maintaining our mother plant from which we can take the x plant the next stage is a stage 1 which is the culture initiation and establishment stage so in this stage as the name indicating culture initiation and establishment so we just initiate the culture so what we did we just sterilize our x plant in this stage the sterilization of x plant takes place and now this sterilized selected x plant these are now move to the suitable medium for the culturing and the cultures they are incubated at 25 degree centigrade and 3000 to 5000 lux light intensity and 50 to 70 percent relative humidity so these are standard condition they may vary from species to species next stage is the stage 2 which is a shoot multiplication means in this stage we place our x plant into shooting medium in which the shoots are regenerated from the x plant so that's why the shoot multiplication because shoots are multiplying in this stage next stage is stage third which is rooting of shoots so in this stage what we do we just now place our you can say x plant with shoot into the rooting medium and now as in the rooting medium the roots will be developed from the x plant so that's why this stage is a rooting of shoots and the rooting medium it generally has high auxins and low salt concentrations the all cytokinins inhibit rooting the iba indol indol butyric acid is required for the rooting and the availability of iba induced primary and secondary roots whereas the naphthalene acetic acid that is naa it also induces the root hairs so means for the rooting medium auxins or high concentration of auxins is required now the next stage is acclimatization of tissue culture plantlets so this stage is you can say this stage prepare the plant to survive the field condition so this stage when we prepare our tissue culture plantlets to survive under the outer field condition so this is known as acclimatization so in this stage we just allow the plant lets to grow you can say to by giving the 
फील्ड कंडीशन सो दैट दे बिकम हैबिचुअल टू द फील्ड कंडीशन स्लोली एंड वंस दे ट्रांसफर टू फील्ड सो दे कैन सर्वाइव द हार्श कंडीशन ऑफ आउटसाइड फील्ड एज वेल सो दिस स्टेप इज वेरी मच क्रूशियल एंड इन दिस स्टेज एज आई टोल्ड वी परफॉर्म द एक्लीमिटाइजेशन सो द प्लांट दैट आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन टिश्यू कल्चर दे ऑल दन ग्रीन इन कलर बट दे डू नॉट मेक सफिशियंट फूड देयर सर्वाइवल and also inside the culture vessel the humidity is very high and thus the natural protective covering of cuticle is not fully developed so therefore immediately after transfer the plants were maintained under high humidity and optimum conditions are also provided to the plant in the greenhouse so these were the stages of micro propagation which i just explained now these stages will be more clear to you like this is the mother plant from where we can take the explant so this is the stage 1 that is establishment of explant in which we have to take the explant from the mother plant then second stage is the shoot multiplication stage because as we taken the explant in the first stage after that we will place our explant into the shooting medium in the shooting medium which generally have high cytokinin so in the shooting medium the shoots are developed from the you can say from our explant and once the shoots are developed then the next stage was the rooting the stage third so in this we now place our explant with shoots into the media that contain the rooting medium which have the high concentration of auxins so in the rooting medium now roots will be developed and ultimately now we have the plantlets and as the stage 4 was acclimatization so in this stage we just place our plantlet to the greenhouses or to the pots in which we provide them the field like conditions and so that they can acclimatize or they can adapted to the field condition so this is the crucial stage because we we have to move our plant to the field condition not to the laboratory we have to move to the field condition so that's why this acclimatization stage is very much important so by these stages our micropropagation will be completed now what are the various methods of micropropagation means how you can start the micropropagation so for this generally we know that the plant cells they have totipotency what it means that single cell of plant can differentiate to produce the complete plant under the standard or you can say the particular conditions and to express the totipotency after de differentiation the cell has to undergo redifferentiation or the regeneration which is the ability to differentiate itself to form plant or organ so the micropropagation can be occur either of the following process like axillary bud proliferation approach so in this approach we can take the bud which is present in the axil of leaf that is axillary bud so by taking the axillary bud we can also go for the micropropagation the steps will be same that we will just take the axillary bud place this bud in the shooting medium then in the rooting medium and ultimately the acclimatization the second that we can also use the meristem for the micropropagation means meristem tissue that can also be used for the micropropagation so meristem is that tissue which is generally present in the shoot tip or root tip it has a highly you can say dividing cells so we can also take this meristem for the micro propagation next embryo culture yeah definitely we can perform this micro propagation by using embryo and anther culture is also a method of micro propagation means all the cultures which we can start from small parts so they comes under the micro propagation methods like anther culture ovary and ovule culture means we can also do the micro propagation by ovary and ovule and definitely we can also use the protoplast for the micro propagation and suspension culture can also be used for the micro propagation and finally the callus culture means in which we just only want to develop callus so for that we can also make callus by the micro propagation methods now what are the applications of micro 
propagation so application include number 1 so as now it is clear to you that by using small part of plant we can make a new complete plant so it means we can make very large number of plant by this micro propagation which is one of the application of this micro propagation secondly that we can you can say we are performing all the experiment in the laboratory from a small part of plant so there is you can say there is no need of much of space we can develop the plant in laboratory the next application that by this micro propagation we can produce disease resistance plant or the virus resistance plantlet so this ultimately leads to the simplification of international exchange of plants like many stem tip culture is generally used where we want to produce the disease free plants the next application that by this micro propagation we can propagate the sterile hybrids that cannot propagate uh, in the nature we can also propagate these sterile hybrids by this micro propagation the next application that the in vitro culture that developed through these micro propagation so they can be stored for long time through micro through so through cryo preservation the breeding cycle can be shorter yeah definitely if you are making plant in the laboratory so within a short time you can develop complete plant so ultimately you are shortening the breeding cycle of plants the next application that in some diverse species plant of one sex is more desirable than other sex means sometime you need the plants of only one sex like either male or female so in such cases the plant of desired sex can be selectively amplified by this micro propagation technique the next application that this technique can be carried out throughout the year means you do, you don't have to depend on the season of a particular plant for its reproduction you can perform micro propagation throughout the year independent of their season so this is also the application that you can get the plant throughout the year the next that a requirement of very less space and human resources are required for this micro propagation and genetic uniformity of the propagules can be maintained through this technique so you can maintain the genetic uniformity by this micro propagation means as we are saying it is also called as the clonal propagation so you can maintain the genetic uniformity now the disadvantage of micro propagation so the disadvantage include the expensive laboratories needed because you you are performing the plant tissue culture experiments so definitely you will need a laboratory which have all the equipments that may be costly to you the next disadvantage that at each stage of technique you has to standardize the conditions so which is a you can say tough task and the poor adaptation to the field is common problem what it means that the plants produced by micro propagation they sometime do not adapt to the field so the adaptation to the field is very poor in case of the plants developed by the micro propagation the next the mass propagation cannot be done across all crops means the micro propagation cannot be used for all crops like in cereals the very little success has been achieved in case of the micro propagation of cereals the next that you may not get the uniform growth of original plant from tissue culture each ex plant has the different in vitro growth rates and the maturation next the plantlets are susceptible to water loss in external environment they have to be hardened to external atmosphere means the plantlet which are developed through the micro propagation they are susceptible to water loss when they will move to the field conditions and in spite of the great care taken that there are chances that contamination will be there it's a very tough task to control the contamination to protect the culture from the pathogens so these are the disadvantages of micro propagation so this is all about that what is micro propagation how you can perform or what are the stages of micro propagation ultimate the methods and application and disadvantages so this is all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much